they expected us to get on the on the plane. But um, it's against like my human rights because I'm under 18 to just get on the plane. So I said, um, my brother and I said we weren't going to get on the plane. And so they brought us back to Yaswood Center. To be honest, um, a bit of me was scared. But you have to do what you have to do when you really want something, like we don't want something to happen. You definitely would like hold on to like your last breath. And that was just like part of it. So I thought I'm just going to not do that and hopefully something great will come out of it. This detention center, I must say, is degrading. It it, it makes you like feel like um you're worth like nothing. You're treated like you killed someone and it's not right and it's not ideal for any child to be here. It's just not good. We're just gonna be here. I'm I'm gonna fight. Can you describe to me why you're so afraid of going back to Nigeria for me? My dad was um um, poisoned. He was a police officer. Well, they handled a really bad case whereby the people involved in the case got, you know, really, really angry and they took his life. And so my mom actually left Nigeria because of that. And she was like really scared. And we too were scared as well. And we obviously, you wouldn't want to go back to where your father was killed. You would be scared or you'd be thinking, hmm, they might come and get me. And they actually like, you know, threatened my mom as well. So and so she filed for um, asylum, but and she told the immigration people, the Home Office, everything. But they they refused to believe that that's what happened. And even though we and even though we actually showed my father's um, death certificate, because he does have a genuine death certificate, and yet they don't believe in. So basically, we've just been we've been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and right now I must confess I am exhausted it's all my energy is basically like really low right now and I'm not gonna give up and hopefully they will de- they'll just hear me they'll just hear me and hear my family out because we don't mean any harm we don't want to harm anyone we just want freedom <laughs>